Well, okay, here it is. The world famous Uniden Pro 510XL. Everybody's got one of these uh, on the shelf somewhere. Had seen, did one. Uh, probably had it in a, in a big rig, a piece of construction equipment or something. These are tried and true. Nice little $50 radios, brand new. You can get them for about 20 bucks on uh, Cheese Squeeze and, uh, you know, your Smake List and stuff like that. Get a used one. There, there's nothing wrong with them. They're, they're, they're super cheap. Uh, and they do what they advertise to do out of the box. And this is one of the second generation ones, the newer ones from, uh, I think, 99 and up. Out of the box, they do about 3 watts uh, uh, a dead key. And they swing to about 10 watts only. So uh, they're not super loud, but they, are, uh, they do sound good. And they come with a nice uh, microphone. Uh, but wait a minute. What if you could tune that baby up for free? Here's the component side. It's the side with the speaker. You gotta just uh, take those little screws off on the sides and then that gets you right into here. You notice it's a lot different than the older one. The older one, of course, it had uh, many more uh, components in there. This has got a lot of uh, what they call surface mounts uh, on the other side and I'll show those to you in a minute. First and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the screen here. These guys here, uh, here's what they do. If you adjust those, the pretty little lights in the front will change differently. The TX power is going to make it when you key up for all the lights to come on, one light to come on, no lights to come on, whatever you want. The RX signal one in the center is exactly the same thing. What it does is it shows uh, the number of lights that come on on the front, the LED lights, when you're receiving. And the last one is uh, the sensitivity of your squelch meter. I would leave that alone. Um, so, of course, these are the upside down here, right? These are the little meter uh, jobbers that I'm talking about that light up um, more or less, depending on how you have that turned. Okay, so as promised, how can I make this a little bit louder for free? Item number one, L203, L203 back here. What you need to do here is you need to go ahead and turn... There we are. Turn that counterclock. So get your power meter out, hook it up, and uh, key up. Don't talk. And turn that little knob counterclockwise. The screw will come up, and your dead key will increase. This is uh, typically covered with some wax that you can just scrape off, and then uh, get a birthday candle or something, put another drop of wax on there. That'll keep it from moving again, what with uh, heat and whatnot. So, or leave it alone, up to you. Uh, four watts on the dead key is uh, what is uh, maximum allowed here in the United States uh, for uh, the uh, CB Radio 11 meter band. Uh, turning that only gets you to about a five, five and a half watt. That's about the maximum on the dead key it's gonna do. So my suggestion is the first thing you want to do is you want to turn that up to the legal limit of 4 watts. Okay, so here's the back side of uh, the newer version of these unit ends. And as you can see, everything is a surface mounted, teeny tiny little resistors and diodes, etc., etc. What are you going to do in there? Man, there's nothing you're going to be able to do there. How am I supposed to fix that up? There's nothing I'm going to be able to do. Why? Yes, there is. Conveniently located right underneath this tin and I've uh, I've pulled it up here just to make it a little bit more obvious for you guys you don't actually have to pull that up you can do this slight alteration very simply right there D203 the pointers looking right at it there is a diode there that as you see is no longer there it comes off really, really easily. You can take a flat blade, tiny little screwdriver, give a little twist, it'll pop right in half. Or you can squish it with a pair of tiny little needle nose pliers. It'll cut itself right in half. If you do that, you have removed the automatic modulation control, the AMC. And now this little bad boy will swing above 20 watts with a 4 watt carrier. Yep, that's all there is to it. All right, well, let's go ahead and see that in action. 
You know, before you test anything, before you show anybody on the internet all the power that you have, make sure that you have calibrated your SWR correctly. And in this case, somehow I'm going to do it with one hand. Oh look, pre-calibrated. Calibrated correctly. I've also got my modulation meter calibrated. Calibrated correctly. All right. So here's our watt meter in the 20 watt scale. And that would be the bottom scale, dead key. Four watts. Go ahead and put that to peak. Four watts, four watts. Uh, so from average, we go to peak. There, I think I said it right that time. Now watch this swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that modulation meter. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <whistles> yeah check, check, check. Audio, audio. So there you have it. The Uniden 510XL Pro, $20 radio, swings to 20 plus watts. You talk on that radio, people will definitely hear you. Put that in your car, you're going to be uh, the bell of the ball in the parking lot, tell you that. Uh, use it as a driver, uh, but uh, there you go. Uh, out of the box, brand new. These don't even do 4 watts. I showed you how to get it to the legal limit. And then uh, out of the box, they are so limited uh, on the swing. I showed you how to uh, go ahead and defeat the uh, modulation control. So there you go. Here's your $20 big bad radio.